Hi everybody, it's Geyser again with the third episode of uh, my development on Super Sprint DRS for the Amiga. Um, yeah, so I had a bit of time to do some more work on, on this. Um, mainly improving the uh, the non-in-game um, scenes within, within Super Sprint. Um, you'd, I think we're left at last where I was uh, looking... I was kind of developing the track select screen. Um, so what I've done is I've I've went a bit further and basically what I'm trying to do is get all of the kind of non-in-game scenes working um, so that I can really concentrate on doing the in-game scene, the in-game um, gameplay, as, you know, making the car work as it should and getting the, the little bonuses and the spanners and the sprites working and everything. So I've really, I've, I've really concentrated on getting like those, you know, like the, the kind of like the title screen working and stuff like that. So I'll show you what I've got up to, um, and give you an idea of what I've, what I've been working on. So this is the, the upgrade car scene here. And when it boots up, so I, now you can select the, select the car. Uh, sorry, select the uh, power up that you want for your car. Um, another cool little thing I'll put in is the transitions. I don't know whether you noticed that, but see like the little screen transition. Just run that up again. I'll take warp off this time. So you should see a little transition. There you go. Just like the arcade. And you can select which. Get that little transition going again. So that was that one. Um, I've also done pretty much completed the select track stuff now as well. So I'll just run this up. So there you go, and you can go and select the track that you want. I've got some screen tear and type issues with this when you're moving around. It's, it's, Quite easy to sort that out, but you know if I hold if I hold the steering wheel, moving to the left, you'll see that some of the colours are not appearing properly. Um, but that's no biggie. I, I know what that is. It's quite easy to fix. And there we go. So that's that all working. Uh, I'll just show you the title screen. It's pretty bland. This one, I think, it just just shows the title screen. That's it. There you are. And this one's really quite cool. So the amount of um, stuff I've put into this one, if you remember last time, it was just a static, static screen, which is the prepare, prepare to race. Um, so what I've done here is you'll see that the, um, the animations are now in. So it's quite a bit of work to get this in, actually. Um, so there's actually two sprites. One of the sprites is masked, one isn't. So the sprite that's masked, is the engine here um that's kind of blown out some blown out some steam i guess um but basically i've had to mask that on top um of the car um on each one uh but this animated sprite here is just um that's just a straight blit copy which i'll be able to do there um and yeah it's worked out quite nicely i'm quite happy with that looks really cool So what we've got next. Now this one here, winning cars, I have done a fair bit of work on. And I'll just show you what what it is that I've been doing. So somebody pointed out and initially and I, I was watching the arcade game and I noticed that the mechanic wasn't there on the arcade game and I was I was like I don't know, but when I when I play it, there's a mechanic there. And what it turned out to be, and somebody pointed out on, on YouTube, on a YouTube comment, um, was that if the drone car finishes fourth, you don't see the mechanic. It's just it's just blank. Um, and there's no mechanic there. There's no mechanic guy there. But if it's a player car, then he does finish. So you see there, I've also got the animated sprite going in. So there he's working with the saw there. Uh, I need to put the flags in. There's loads of flags that normally appear. Up on the up in the crowd, 
Um, but on this winning cars one, I'll just show you the other animations. Might as well. Um, if I remember where I put them. Do, do, do. Where did I put them? Um, I think it's probably this, and I've just used the used the wrong variable name. So that was the saw animation. And that's him scratching his head. And I've got the next one, which is, I think it's like the engine blown up or something. Yeah, there you go. So those are, those are in. There's one more, I'll just show you for, for completeness. And... Oh yeah, it's got a hammer bashing away. That's what it is. Um, so yeah, so there's a few things I want to do with this. I need to put in. Uh, I need to get the small font added uh, into the display area here, uh, which is no biggie because I've got the small font routine already working. Uh, the cars are all working. I'm pretty sure I could change the color of the cars. I'm sure, when I look, I think I could. Yeah, so I just change the car color here. So I want to change it to blue. And I can, no problem. There you go. And that's it. So what I'm going to be doing next is carrying on. I'm going to do the um, I'm going to do the high score screen, and I'll just polish up these these other scenes a bit more. I'll work on the the display um you know these these displays change a little bit um depending what variables are on each player uh, so i'll implement that which which is no real biggie and then that will allow me to um concentrate on the the in-game uh, stuff i also need to do some stuff on the memory management and file management i've got a couple of ideas there uh, i may opt to hold a lot of the graphics inside the one inside of one executable um because i can hold them compressed and that might that might help quite a lot but i haven't quite made a decision on that yet uh but either way there's nothing really bothering us about it so that's it development update three uh hope you enjoyed it quite a short one um yeah doing this monday any developer you speak to will probably tell you that doing stuff like high score screens or like title pages is generally quite mundane um i've got me i've found this these bits a bit mund mundane and um i can't really wait to get into doing the actual you know getting back to doing the, the car physics and stuff like that because that's the bit that i've really started this this um really like about this project really so there you go super sprint development update number three and hope you like it and i'll catch you in the next update